The journey begins the most distant object ever constructed by human hands does not rest on Earth. It does not quietly orbit around the familiar planets we know. Instead, it drifts alone, untethered, free, and silent. Venturing farther than anything humanity has ever dared to send. It sails endlessly through the frozen, soundless sea that lies between the stars. That object is Voyager 1. Launched by NASA in the summer of 1977, Voyager 1 began its existence as a humble spacecraft. It was small, no larger than an average family car. Its technology was fragile, far less advanced than even the most basic smartphones we carry today. And yet, despite such limitations, this tiny explorer would go on to accomplish what once seemed impossible. Voyager has now traveled more than 22 billion kilometers from its home planet. A staggering distance that defies imagination. And astonishingly, it still survives. It still whispers faint signals of data across the cosmic void. Signals arriving from a region no other probe has ever reached, the domain of interstellar space. Its transmission is unimaginably weak. So faint it is less powerful than the light from a refrigerator bulb. And yet across this immeasurable gulf, Earth continues to listen. Voyager, stubborn and resilient, continues to speak. But the miracle of this mission is not measured only in distance. It is also measured in the treasures of discovery it has carried back along the way. Every image, every measurement, Every whisper of data has reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. The spark of an idea the seeds of Voyager's journey were planted in the 1960s. During this time, NASA engineer Gary Flandro studied the orbital paths of the outer planets. Hidden in the mathematics, he discovered a rare celestial opportunity. Between 1977 and 1980, the giant worlds, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align in a perfect cosmic formation. This unique alignment happens only once every 176 years. It was a window that could not be ignored. By using a method called gravity assist, a spacecraft could slingshot around these massive planets. It could borrow their enormous gravity, gaining speed with every encounter. This technique would transform the solar system into a grand superhighway. A shortcut that could turn decades of slow travel into just a few years of rapid exploration. NASA seized this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In the summer of 1977, they launched not one but two spacecraft. Voyager 2 first, and Voyager 1 just 15 days later. Though it left second, Voyager 1 took a faster trajectory. It quickly overtook its sibling, racing ahead toward the outer planets. The original mission sounded modest, a planned four-year survey of Jupiter and Saturn. But the discoveries that followed would forever change how humanity saw its own solar system. Revelations among the giants at Jupiter, Voyager uncovered a world of unimaginable violence. The giant planet's swirling atmosphere was alive with storms larger than Earth itself. Its magnetic field proved far more powerful than scientists had ever anticipated. Then came the astonishing sight of Io, one of Jupiter's moons. For centuries it was assumed to be cold, still, and lifeless. But Voyager revealed something astonishing. Io was volcanic. Its surface erupted with fountains of molten rock. It became the first world beyond Earth confirmed to be geologically active. Next came Saturn. Voyager's cameras revealed intricate, delicate ring structures, far more complex than ever imagined. It discovered hidden moons, orbiting like secret guardians around the planet. And it introduced humanity to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. A mysterious world veiled in a thick orange haze. An atmosphere so dense it hinted at chemical processes that might resemble the very beginnings of life. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 pressed further outward. It became the only spacecraft in history to visit Uranus and Neptune. It revealed strange, tilted magnetic fields. It showed methane storms churning within their icy blue atmospheres. It captured images of moons where even volcanoes erupted, but not with fire, rather with ice and frozen gases. For the very first time, the distant pinpoints of light in our night sky were no longer just mysterious stars. 
They became living, breathing worlds, full of weather, landscapes, and alien drama. And all of this came from two spacecraft built with astonishing simplicity. They carried tape recorders, magnetic storage devices, and computers with only 68 kilobytes of memory, less than what is needed for a single digital photo today. Their radios transmitted at just 23 watts of power. Barely more powerful than a standard household light bulb. And yet, across billions of kilometers, NASA's deep space network captured their faint voices. This was not only science. It was proof of something deeper. Proof that humanity could stretch beyond the known. Proof that we could reach into the crossing the final boundary Voyager 1's encounters with the giant planets eventually came to an end. But its journey was far from over. A new chapter began. A chapter not about flybys or photographs, but about crossing the ultimate cosmic frontier, interstellar space. The edge of this frontier is called the heliopause. It is the invisible boundary where the solar wind, the stream of charged particles from our sun, finally fades. Beyond it lies the vast ocean of the galaxy itself. For decades, scientists asked, how far away is this mysterious edge? Would Voyager ever live long enough to find it? On August 25, 2012, the spacecraft gave us the answer. At a staggering distance of 121 astronomical units, 121 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, Voyager 1 crossed the threshold. It became the first human creation to leave the protective bubble of our solar system. The crossing was dramatic. Its detectors recorded a sudden surge in cosmic rays, energetic particles arriving from deep space. Its plasma instruments captured ghostly fluctuations in density. It was as though Voyager had stepped into a space filled with invisible, vibrating music. But a puzzle emerged. The magnetic field did not flip direction, as scientists expected. Instead, it continued almost unchanged. It was as though Voyager had entered a twilight zone. Not fully inside the solar system. Not fully inside the galaxy. But somewhere in between. Even today, this mystery remains unsolved. Did Voyager truly cross into interstellar space? Or is it still drifting inside the sun's extended reach, caught in an unfamiliar boundary layer we barely understand? What Voyager showed us is clear. The edge of our solar system is far stranger, far more complex, than the simple bubble scientists once imagined. Toward the infinite, now Voyager drifts ever outward. Its path leads toward the distant Oort cloud. A vast, invisible halo of icy bodies. The frozen remnants of the solar system's birth billions of years ago. The Oort cloud may stretch a full light year across. To pass through its farthest rim, Voyager may take 30,000 years or more. By that time, human civilization will likely have transformed beyond recognition. Our nations, our languages, even our species itself may no longer exist. And yet, Voyager will continue its silent journey. Carrying the memory of its creators across the stars. Its power comes from a radioisotope thermoelectric generator. It converts heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. But with each passing year, the energy dwindles. One by one, Voyager's instruments have been shut down. By around 2030, the spacecraft will go silent forever. Its final signal will vanish into the cosmic background. Humanity's longest-running mission will close its chapter of life. But even silence will not be the end. The golden record for Voyager carries something eternal. Bolted to its side is a time capsule, the golden record. A phonograph disc designed to last for a billion years. Created by Carl Sagan, Ann Druyan, and their team, it is humanity's message in a bottle. Etched into its grooves are greetings in 55 human languages. The sounds of earth, the crash of waves, the rumble of thunder, the songs of birds. The laughter of children. The cry of a newborn. There is music spanning cultures and centuries. The timeless works of Bach and Beethoven. The haunting blues of blind Willie Johnson. A Navajo night chant that echoes across generations. There are diagrams of DNA. 
mathematical principles, maps of our solar system, and photographs of humanity, animals, and landscapes. It is a portrait of Earth. A portrait of who we were in the moment we first reached for the stars. Even if no one ever discovers it, the gesture matters. Because the act of sending it says something profound. It says, we were here. We lived. We dreamed. We longed to be known. Voyager's legacy Voyager 1 is not just a spacecraft. It is a monument to human persistence. A testament to courage, to imagination, to wonder. It transformed distant points of light into living worlds. It pushed the frontier of knowledge all the way to the edge of the galaxy. And now, as it drifts into the endless dark of interstellar space, it whispers back to us. It whispers a challenge to the species that created it. What lies beyond the horizon? Who are we, truly?